Greetings! In today's Italian RTG, I finally reveal you guys the 433 that I've been cooking with for the last couple of weeks. And at first, I was hesitant because 433 and FIFA go together like peanut butter and not jelly. Like, literally, whatever does not go well with peanut butter, that's what 433 is to FIFA. Mostly because of the main issue that is that while offensively it can be interesting, especially with the runs and the beauty of the two center mids, defensively, essentially, you're playing a 4 1 5 because your two center mids do absolutely nothing. Second man press is a really bad feature where. You know, sometimes people complain about its overpoweredness, but in the reality, it does not press anywhere near how it should. In fact, a lot of the times when you hold it, your guy will either jog slowly or in a trajectory that makes no sense, or he'll just run away. So whatever. Despite those flaws, we've been having a good time with it. And maybe it's the new patch that made everything narrow. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows at this point what FIFA is, what it isn't. All we know is that we just got to roll with the punches and make use of what we know, which is nothing. So therefore, we play 4-3-3. We have Barella at CDM instead of Jorginho because FIFA's FIFA, you know what I mean? You're not going to put a Jorginho type player with medium medium at CM. Plus, Jorginho is a better offensive player statistically and Barella has a high high. So he's a bit of a do it all sort of dude over there. And we got Chiesa, who is a questionable choice as a third right center mid. Uh, but, you know, compared to Baggio, Zola, and Insignia, he has the highest defensive awareness, so it makes sense to put him there. Every other position is pretty much self-explanatory. I know some people might not put Zola and Baggio wing and center, but for me, it works because Zola is the quickest. It's the tightest space, so he needs to move fast. He's a great finisher. Baggio's five-star skills make up for his lack of pace on the wing. These are the tactics, so very, very basic balance we got you know very balanced width slightly higher uh, depth we have balanced build-up play direct passing don't really know why we're using it but we are and then we have uh, you know pretty pretty balanced with offensively as well five the only thing i changed here was corners and free kicks of course we want as little people as possible limit the corner counter attacks instruction wise you can expect absolutely nothing on keeper and center backs we also have nothing on the fullbacks, which a lot of people think is a bit too offensive. But honestly, they don't even bomb forward that much. I suspect it has something to do with the fact that the wingers are taking up that space. And then we have the CDM Barella with stay back while attacking cover center. And now you guys are going to be very disappointed because you've been waiting for this. And you're like, oh, what, what's he got? And I got absolutely nothing on Chiesa. And I got absolutely nothing on Jorginho because less is more in this game. In fact, the more instructions you put, the less they seem to do. So this keeps them active. It keeps them making runs forward. We do have drift wide on the striker. But again, absolutely nothing on the wingers we let direct passing do most of the work and this is the team boys so let's see how we do let me know in the comments if you end up using it here we go so the beginning of weekend league would have nothing to do with fifa and everything to do with whatever psychological study this is of the duality of man kind opponent one plays with us but he does give us the win eventually opponent dose decides to not do that he plays with our feeling completely well in finally game two we have someone willing to play but not even time for 4-3-3 to take shape that uh, we seal the deal with Kiesa and get a rage quit but honestly if every game was like that i'd be totally fine hopefully now we'll play a full 90 and with that who better to start the show than zola bang let's go zola temporary hiccup here as the game does not understand my actions ah uh, here we go man There it is. I wanted to pass it somewhere completely different. Luckily, the 4-3-3 would be to the rescue here as we spread our opponent's defense better than I spread peanut butter on bananas. And despite the red card that we picked up, we grab ourselves a nice little penalty. And who better to take it than our new acquisition, Jorginho. Bang! Where's the hop, by the way? Where was the hop? Seriously, I need a better animation. Don't let yourself fooled by the adversity faced in some of these games. We're conceding four first, but the 43 was cooking. That counts as kickoff. And here, if you end up ignoring Zola's shrimp-like offensive AI towards the end of the play, you can just see the damage we can deal with. Okay. Okay. I mean, seriously, one lapse in concentration on the wing from our opponent, and bang, our wingers are running right. That works, that works. Boo! 
boom peace or no game five and you think we're gonna go down immediately to set up a comeback absolutely no he player locked that bro he player locked that his ai passed it to him if you player lock not only can we not be friends i'm gonna have to score this free kick on you and then after that i'm gonna have to cut back on your defense make your keeper fall flat on the ground and i'm gonna have to seal the deal with a pen Earned by Jorginho, by Jorginho. Still wishing we had the Jorginho hop. Ooh, that was risky. Game six. A lot of icons are going to be on this field. I'll give you a hint. The fraudulent one is not Zola. However, he would be someone who would end up getting this assist. No way. He's actually got a goal. Let's see the XG. Four XG, nine shots, 0.7. When in doubt, there's only one man who can take you out of this drought. His name is Zola Kraut. I couldn't think of a better rhyme. Apologies. Enjoy the goal. There you go. You ain't missing that. Perfect play. Damian then runs like the stallion that he is, except he's missing the long hair he has IRL. And why not? Why not? Why not? At this point, we would be expecting a couple tough games, but honestly, it was just Rage Quit City. Go. Let's go. There we go, David. We got it. I mean, George. Whoa. Okay. Bang. Come on. Bang. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, poor Genio. Thought I thought it <laughs> thought I did too much, but if it works, it works. The stat padding of Jorginho continues. Please. Yes, Zola. Ooh, okay. I've been rigged. Gotta get there first, bro. Oh, speed. Yeah, beautiful. Yes! Come on, Jorginho! What just happened? The oh-so-desired 10-0 had been achieved one way or another. All we needed was six more wins, and then we'd be content enough to give away the rest. The only question is, how long could this streak last? Yes. Now, while the initial buildup in this play is definitely nice, spot the rigged pass, and you win three Ds for your nuts. No way. R9 and the boys up next, but nothing our beautiful Bajo boys can't deal with. And then our opponent, eh, you know, not only does he defend kind of poorly here, easy, easy turn. He would end up throwing it all away by giving us the ball and setting up an easy, unexpected goal. Uh, oh, 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 okay. We'll take it, man. 13 0, still going strong, and even luck would join our side. Rigged. I'm sorry. Not to worry that we do the right thing. Let him apologize right at the end of the half. And yeah, let's just call it us letting him do that. 
enough charity though eventually it's Jorginho working around with Chiesa he shows off his pace and it's a simple simple cutback and he would show that he can also cross that ball and we would show that Jorginho is the best header big 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 bro that's what she said so 13 and 0 is it finally time to catch some else hopefully not because this team's name is Sko Regina which if combined means little fart Somebody please, bro. Ugly. Ugly. What just happened? And I've lost. How have I just lost this game? I wouldn't wish losing to Little Fart FC to my worst enemy, especially not after this Verde miss. But hopefully, at this point, this would have been our last road bump. Bang, what a goal. Why did I pass that? Well, that still worked. Oh, and never mind. I spoke too soon. Holy shit. At halftime, we had complete control and zero XG for our opponent as well. Absolutely beautiful until unfortunately the darkest turn in Italian RTG history, starting off with a kickoff from Cancelo, the most dangerous man in foot right now. We then destroyed our own defensive shape, and just like that, 45 minutes of destruction thrown in the garbage. Luckily for us, the rest of the weekend would not hold any drama, and in fact, we would go back to winning ways. We would get to 16 wins and 2 losses quite comfortably. We could have kept going to 18, but honestly, we decided to call it a weekend right there. We retired. We saw, you know what? Rank 3 is good enough for rewards. We ain't making coins anyways. I think we made all the coins we possibly can. The 4-3-3 was definitely a fun time. I think these tactics work best. Uh, for the 4-3-3 for now. Of course, like I've said before, the downfall comes defensively when the 4-3-3 plays more like a 4-1-5, and the center mids join the offensive players in giving you absolutely no help defensively. Rewards were nothing crazy, couple of walkouts for future SBCs potentially, and so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.